Hey everyone, it's Tom Crowds with another Rockstar Minute. Now check out this chart we're gonna put on the screen right now. Canada, highest inflow of workforce ready immigrants in the OECD. So this is really interesting for a couple points. Look at the little box on the left hand side and if you can't read it, what it says is Canada admits about 300,000 permanent immigrants annually. Now the reason this is a big deal to us as real estate investors is because if we look at the population of Canada, it's about 35 million people, 35, 36 million people. If you look at the po population of the US, it's about 300, uh, 320 five million something like that so it's like nine or ten times the size of Canada and if Canada is taking in about 300,000 immigrants annually you would think the US if we're they're about ten times our size they would take in about three million but they don't from all the analysis we do it looks like they take in just over a million so Canada per capita just gets a whole ton of immigration now if you look back at this chart again on the right hand the, the little box that's in the middle is discussing the data on this chart and it says that there's of the total there's more than 170,000 um, immigrants that are of the economic category which means they are workforce ready so as a population accepting that many workforce ready Im immigrants into this area obviously drives the economy it drives demand for purchasing and consumption it drives the demand for housing so as a real estate investor I really feel fortunate that we are in this particular area of Canada even because Toronto will get about a hundred thousand annually of those immigrants so not only do we get a lot of immigrants we get a lot of workforce immigrants and in if you look at that chart that we have up there Canada is getting more workforce ready immigrants than anyone else on this chart and US is number two then Australia and Great Britain and then look how low it goes to Japan so we're really fortunate not that this stuff can prevent any real estate corrections but it definitely drives a continued demand for real estate in this area so hopefully that gives you something to think about until next time your life your terms